pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the run center deal or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Maggie, come here, girl. Good <laughs> doggy. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Your floor number, please. Roof. McCoy, LPD. Uh, yeah, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. The kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the all-important dirty old man market. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Obviously he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely.
lagging behind again. Kusa didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still fitting the pieces together. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Gaff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your case. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay, how do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Mainframe and shooting range. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth, and one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. I check. How Kingston? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble and... Lightning Squad. Most of the... It was a... It was a Tyrell... Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab.
The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. The earring was This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney- Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh no. Recording off. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess. He's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy under things in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me. Especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it.
Ground floor. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed at how accommodating a man can be after his hemorrhoids get lanced. You've really been surprising the troops around here, kid. Gaff says you work that retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well, don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? Couple hundred chinyan. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Should take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking... maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something, something nice. Once you start carving up that juicy bacon, kid, the taste never goes away. The great things in life, believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. I'll give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Lock up. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, Detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, Humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. 
Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, Detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective. She already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care- Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. You've been drafted into the army. During a boot camp hazing, you're bound, blindfolded, and forced to eat worms. Hazing's illegal. Oh yeah, you're really worried about breaking the law. Wonder why I'm the one on this side of the bars. Civil disobedience has a long history in our world. So does genocide, but I ain't out butchering my neighbors. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. I try to do better next time. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I try to help him, of course. Buy him dinner or take him to a shelter. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. I'd leave. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? I'm not answering that. You see a documentary about 20th century tuna boats. At the end, you feel like taking up fishing. Ridiculous. You're crying. Why is that? Crying? It's nothing to be ashamed of. I might cry for any number of reasons. I'll bet. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. Roof. Positive result. Subject is human. Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects? They're no good companion. But fish, fish are good. I have every kind of fish for you. Blowfish, dorado, miniature sailfish. Very friendly. No thanks, I got a dog at home. Fish just as good as dog. No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money. Let's get back to insects, official LPD business. Ah, uh, down at end of Animal Row, you see big green sign? You try there. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. She. Thank you. 
this your work? Ah, the dragon. Dragon? See, si. I know Soptera. Dragonfly, late of the American South Swamp Plant. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? Items like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item, and most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. Might want to try for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then you buy a piece, right? For a special lady friend. You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Careful, senor. They are poison. Scorpions? See? Finest quality. Perhaps you purchase one? I, I don't think so. They're beautiful, though. I've never seen one before. Oh, that we do, senor. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie... Ah! Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? It's kind of ugly, but you talk me into it. Had a 45 blaster under your coat, or you're just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep D-Tech. Blade Runner, huh? How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davey Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. You sell any off-world stuff, like Ender rifles? Nah, I ain't seen anything like that in years. Wish I had one, though. The Endo was a real workhorse. Good stopping power, decent rate of fire. You looking? Gonna cost you a bundle, I'm afraid. Not really. Somebody shot up runs at his shop with one. Sucker had it coming. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Why's that? Runson is always putting on those airs like he's better than everybody else. But he'll do anything for a buck. Sell anything to anybody. That's where I draw the line. If it's suspicious, it's out of here. Got no place at Bullet Bob's. You know anyone who might sell Ender rifles? There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. Got a pawn shop down the street. Goes by the name of Ezo. But who knows what the real title is? Ezo, huh? Sounds like you don't like him. I've been around here a long time, Ray. It always pisses me off when some dilettante sets up shop and tries to horn in on my action. How long has Ezo been around? He's brand new. He's a cold son of a bitch, too. I went over to introduce myself when he first moved in, and he practically ignored me. Said he was too busy to talk. Don't think I didn't consider kicking his ass, too. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Because I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. Thanks for your time.
Jesus. Step up, step up. Mama Isabella cook you something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Oh, Eisendollar, yeah. Let me tell you, that man can't eat. Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. This guy work for you? <laughs> no. But I wish he do. He be one fine looking man. You sure? You've never seen him before. I'd remembered him for sure. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. Thanks for your time. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. All my paperwork is in order. Doesn't matter. I don't read, anyhow. What's your name? Ezo. You move a lot of valuable goods through here? Valuable and exotic? How exotic? We're talking exceptionally fine jewelry in the shape of a dragonfly. Ah, oh, they were so majestic. I remember them from my childhood. And that was the last time I've seen them. It's very important that I find out about this. Can you help me? If I see something, and you can match whatever my collectors will pay, it's all yours. Thanks a million. How many illegal automatic weapons move through here? Automatic weapons hold little mystique for me. That's why I don't sell them. Then what are those things in your back room there? Semi-automatic. Big difference. There was a time when men operated with a code of honor. Guns and rifles weren't necessary. The very presence of a sword was enough to ensure stability. Well, times have changed. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished idol. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this? You blew your retirement loot this time, Slim. What are you doing here? Tracking this piece of shit. What are you doing here besides putting your nuts on the chopping block? Investigating Ezo. Maybe we should compare notes. Maybe you should find another line of work. 
Just in case I'm not around to bail you out next time. I'll wait for the uniforms. Why don't you grab yourself a slice of quiche or something? And pick up a bottle of scotch for the real Blade Runner, will ya? Just kidding, Slim. There were off-world rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police-issue restricted weaponry. Ezo wasn't some small-time fence, but a big-time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city. Nothing else there. Nothing more to find. Thanks for your time. I was fresh out of leads. Poking around Hawker's circle had been a waste of time. I had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the Eisendollar murder. But if the replicants had done in one Tyrell scientist, maybe they'd go after another. And the subcontractors down on DNA Row didn't have Tyrell security to protect them. Beautiful, isn't it? 
The owl or the view? Both. The view's amazing. The owl, well, artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell? He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydneys. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Terrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Terrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Terrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him, if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories of four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendollar's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendollar. I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend. Mainframe and shooting range.
Hawker's Circle. She looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. China Bar. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Interesting. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. See? I'm a Soptera, dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. Item like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. It's what I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. There were off-world rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police-issue restricted weaponry. Ezo wasn't some small-time fence, but a big-time arms dealer. Hey, go home and get some rest. I'm sure you need it. Ah! What you want? I'm busy. Excuse me. Deliveries to rare. 
LPD, I got a couple of questions. Hmm. Talk, talk, talk. Always talk. You wait. You know, take up time. Busy, busy. Marcus Eisendaler is dead. Uh, okay, we, we, we talk. Quick, quick, now. What you want? You were close to Eisendaler? Eisendaler? <laughs> no, no, no time for him. No go to lab. Eisendaler test off world gravity to work important organs. Visual center, you see? Marcus is dead. To work hard all night, all day, no stop, no break, no OT. Did you hear me? Of course I hear you. You think I'm deaf? <laughs> Your time more important, huh? Eisendaler dead. Maraji may be dead. You out chasing skirts. Maraji? You eat supper with Maraji every night, no fail. Sometimes Chinese, sometimes Indian, sometimes home cook. Sometimes we go up and eat with twins. Maraji didn't show. Did you call him? I call. I knock. Ten minutes ago, door locked. No answer. Where you come from, huh? What? Nothing, nothing. Tell me this. Hey, wait. LPT, you there for something, huh? LPT? I'm very busy. I just won't wait for nothing. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. Run! Run! Hold on. An ambulance will be coming. You must warn the twins. Up, up there. Up. The stairs. The twins? Did they do this? No. Tall men with dreadlocks. The bomber. And a, another with beard. Piercing eyes. What did they want? The TNA information. The God forgive me. I told them, told them about the twins. Don't shoot. McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. What do you know about this? Got a dead man here. Victim of an explosion. His name is, uh, was Maraji. He was able to give me a description of the two perps just before he bought the farm. Yeah? They skin jobs, or are you just in the right place at the wrong time? I'm practically waxing their tails, officer. I'm that close. But I don't have a lot of time. You mind, uh... Mopping up here? Just do me a favor and kick some rep ass, okay? It's high time someone got them illegals off the street. Appreciate it. This is 32 Sector 3 reporting a homicide. Possible act of terrorism. It was something you didn't see too often. A precise, shaped explosion fashioned for minimum collateral damage. The son of a bitch was a pro. Someone with real munitions expertise. And that expertise could only come with extensive, on-the-job, off-world training. Locked. No way through here. You got a sheet or something we could cover them with? Nah, nothing. Cold Cup boys have been dragging ass.
The vid phone was one of those old Zenith jobs, the last electronic tech that was still produced on this continent, in Mexico to be exact. No wonder the sucker was on the blink. Hmm. Hello, Luther. Hello, Lance. You have no new messages and one save voice-only message. Would you like to hear the save message again? Absolutely. Hello, it's J.F. Sebastian. I hope you guys are all right. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about, uh, about your reinstatement, reemployment, but I haven't been able to get through to him yet. He's kind of angry, and you know what a cool customer he is. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. If, if, if you want to get together, I'm still at the Bradbury. I'll be here all night. Message saved automatically. To delete, please state your deletion security number. Not right now. Thanks. The pleasure's all ours at Sino Bell. I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's Animal Sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of Chinyan inside. I didn't know what it was for, but I'd bet the farm it wasn't on Runsitter's books. Hello, it's J.F. Of course I hear you! You think I'm deaf? I recognized the logo on the end. It was something you didn't see too often. A precise, shaped explosion fashioned for minimum collateral damage. The son of a bitch was a pro. No. Tall man with dreadlocks. The bomber. And a, another with beard. Piercing eyes. TNA information. Oh, God, forgive me. I told them, told them about the twins. Not good time now. Come back later. Listen to me. Busy, busy. You not delivery man. You go away. Distraction all day long. Never stop. Loud noises on the street. Beep, beep, bong, 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 bong. Always make me drop eyes. That'd be Dermo design burning to the ground. Oh? What? What of Marathi? He didn't make it. You leave now, okay? Very busy. Must work. Must work. Miraji's some kind of DNA designer? Yeah, subcontractor like me. <laughs> he funny though, like old movies. Miraji master chef. Twins go crazy when he cooks. <laughs> you mentioned twins. Yes, yes, Luther and Lance, Siamese twins, live about Miraji. They're genetic designers? Well, <laughs> till last month. Got the boot, shit can. From who? Big boss, who else? And if I didn't tell her, you go ask them. I waste no more time. You think I, I nose around everybody's business, huh? Marcus Eisendaler is dead. You might consider knocking off work early. What next is six what with me, huh? I just do eyes. Busy, busy, must make deadline. What's Sebastian been up to lately? Sebastian? <laughs> he do what always do, nervous system. Very important to Dr. Terrell. Where do I find him? He had old building down the alley. Uh, Bradbury Hotel, I think. You walk down the alley, you find it.
What about this Lance? What kind of guy is he? Why, he like Luther, only different. Don't know which which. That so? One long hair, talk a lot, always make deal. Other more quiet, work much harder. What kind of deals? Sell this, sell that, no matter what weather. Like salesman. <laughs> Very hard to take, no trust, no way. Did Lance sell something to Runsitter? Who? Never heard of Runsitter. No time for charades. Sound like this, sound like that, uh, look like this. Uh, uh, oh, like that. Sorry to bother you. Enough! Oh, you think he found us, man? One of the design subcons must have talked. Unstable personalities, to say the least. Told you we should have blown up the old block. It would have created problems down the line. We got problem now, man. This one? He's not a problem. He's an opportunity. You're weak, my friend. I expected so much more from you. I'm thinking our brother not hearing too good. Oh, he hears us. Isn't that right, McCoy? You ready to give up fruitless nightmare man? Come back to family? He doesn't have a choice. He never did. Let me kill him, man. No. We got no time to be patient. The girl, she's sick. She no gonna get no better. That's where you're wrong, Sadiq. She will live. Maybe. But this one? He got it coming bad. Believe me, he's the least of our problems. You're talking crazy. The hunter be dangerous. A fool sees not the same tree a wise man sees. I'm no fool, man. You must have a little faith, my friend. Without contraries, there's no progression. How can you trust any of their kind? We have been manipulated by them, correct? Now they're going to see exactly what lies on the other side of the horizon. <laughs> 